Hey, welcome back everybody. Cyan here again with another episode of my pick and block playthrough. And yeah, Sterling Clouds, way, way up in the sky. Also, portals there. All right, 300 meters. There's a freaking sun dungeon right next to it. This right here is a sun dungeon. That there's my portal. I flew around for ages trying to find one of those stupid things. But it's not. Ah, dang it. So if you touch a sterling air cloud, it gets struck by lightning and turns into a cold air cloud. Ah, dang it. I need a magnet. I really do. And blocks fall straight through these stupid things as well. So... Kind of annoying to harvest these things, but we need them for uh, making whatever stratus ingots, those things. I need four of these per ingot. Uh. Alright, let's crank up my jetpack again so that we can move faster. Okay. Yeah, stupid whale. I hate that thing so much. <laughs> uh, all right, come on. That's a different tower I found. Where are more of these stratus clouds? Oh, these things are kind of rare too, or sterling, not stratus. The same difference. Yeah, we're at Y241 right now flying around, and yeah. I got lucky, I think, with the first one, because I found it just in, like, under a minute. And now there's just, like, nothing. Nothing at all. I am zipping around really quick. If you can look at my mini map, you can see how fast I'm flying around. There's just nothing up here. Well, I'm going to keep up with this. I'm going to try to get at least another, you know, a stack, stack and a half of the Sterling Clouds because it should save me any future, you know, excursions out here to grab these things. But, uh, man, I am not having any luck finding them. All right, so some time has passed. This, these stupid chromatic air clouds, they take forever to cook. And they go through so much ambrosium per piece. Uh, it's like, I think, 10 pieces of ambrosium per. And this is already a slow block anyway, so. Uh, I went ahead and dropped my gravitate chickens down. Hey, we have some gravitate, sweet. These gravitate chickens, they take forever compared to everything else. I mean, these guys are like every 30 seconds, 45 seconds, something like that. Probably 45-ish. Uh, they will drop some luminescence. These guys, it's like every five minutes they will drop ore. Yeah, I mean, this is just incredibly slow. Uh, I do need to process this stuff up unless I want to drop six netherite coins just to buy one. I'm thinking I would prefer Ethium. Uh, let's go ahead and get another one of these, actually. Because I need the nuggets, right? Uh, Ethium nuggets, an amethyst shard, and a heated blaze burner equals Ethium shards. Which I can run through the crushing wheel to get medium slate blue dye, and I can finally make that last dye chicken. All right, so I need probably nine of these. Is there a way to process this any better? No. That is literally the only way to process it. Okay. Alright. Um, I need a basin. I'll just make another one. No, not you, but you. We'll make an upside down helmet. There we go. There's our basin. 
And I'm down to two netherite coins now. Alright, so first... No, not that. This. There you go. They heated. And I will just toss you and you in. There it goes. Alright, well, that's moving along great. Up uh, three netherite coins, I can buy myself a totem of void undying. Can I make that? Yeah, I can't. Uh, it requires uh, coarse fruit. I don't have that yet, so. I mean, I could get it relatively easily. But, uh. I mean, I, I do have the ender pearls. I have the end portal frames. I could go to the end. I could go fight the dragon if I wanted to. Of course, same time, I don't really actually have to fight the dragon. So, oh wow, you're already full. Put like another four stacks of eggs in there. You can go in and you, right? You do go in the crushing walls, right? Yes. Okay. I just want blaze powder. And I really should do something about these. They need to be faster. Also, I went a little nuts with accumulators while I'm killing time and building up coins and stuff. Uh, yeah. We're producing right now 360 forge energy per tick, which is not great. It's not horrible either. So, uh, But I've got... This is the max size of accumulator, by the way. It's a 3x3 three three base, 5 blocks tall. And you can actually sandwich these things like side by side, which is honestly not bad. And they do automatically... Uh, push power to the top and bottom uh, top and bottom sides of this so you could actually have a giant stack of accumulators and they would feed into each other but right now I've just basically and these are the large connectors so this is the high voltage equivalent these can move up to 5,000 forge energy per tick and yeah we got 42 million saved up here plus yeah. I'm just going to make sure I have enough power also I need to do more windmills uh, but yeah, the only thing I'm powering right now is the stupid charger. Alright. Hey, you're done. Oh, sweet. We got a bunch of medium blue slate dye. So, let me come over to my chicken stash. And grab two of you guys. Um, yeah, might as well do two, right? And you. All right. So, you know what? Um, let me some die real quick. I want to play around with it a bit. See what I can use it for. Yep. And you guys can go in there like so. You take You know what? Here, do the gravitate for now, would you? I have exactly twelve of blaze powder. Sweet. That worked out. Also, that can go away. So, medium slate blue dye is just for uh, staining glass and stuff, it looks like. Okay. Just, just staining glass, actually. So, let's go to our chicken guide. Here we go. There's our gold coin for that one. Nice. And let's look up slate. Do you... You do breed. A brass chicken plus those guys will equal an ethium. Okay. So, you and... Uh, where was my brass at? Oh, you guys. Alright, cool. So, let's get a little more chicken breeding done. I mean, these guys here are already 10, 10, 10. Because I used, you know, the really good chickens to do that. So. Uh, 
All right. Give me what I want. Perfect. Ethium chicken. All right. I can breed that Ethium chicken with the brass chicken. Once it grows up, anyway. And hopefully get another Ethium chicken. Just shove a whole bunch of seeds in this thing. There we go. You stupid birds, go away. Not many of those dripstone chickens. Uh, that's why I have trapdoors here now. It's because they were getting into here and mucking things up. Oh, hey, look. A bunch of gravitite now. Sweet. I mean, well, 60 is not a bunch, bunch, but I mean, it works. All right, so chromatic air clouds. This is what I needed. Change of gravitate. Also, I need these things to make chromatic compound, which, yeah, we're probably not going to be doing an automated version of these two. They both require chromatic compound, and there's no way to get sterling clouds or the chromatic air clouds automatically. Like, Sterling has no recipe. It has an EMC, though. But once you get an EMC, I'm, there's other ways I can easily make stuff happen, so. Um, seeds. There we go. Also, you can just get deleted. I don't need that. So, for a Stratus ingot, I need Xanite, Amber, Ambrosium, and Sky Jade. Let's make three, right? Three, three, and three. There we go. And I didn't even have to pull this stuff out because I put this here so that it can access that box. And hold shift. There we go. Oh, I did get a Xana or a Stratus already, so we're up to four Stratus now. So I didn't need to do that. Okay. Whoops. I also made a saddle. Because why not? It was a it was some leather and string. I had stuff laying around. I do need three stratus ingots for this. I need pink terracotta. So I need some clay. Uh air smog. And enchanted gravitite. Okay. Well, there's that. Let me go grab some more gravitite and get it enchanted up. It, Gravitate isn't something I've messed with since I made my armor, because I just haven't needed it, so... Yeah. Hey, uh, you're fully grown? Sweet. Hey. You and you. All right, and I have Sky Jade. And I, actually, I have all the stuff in my inventory. Where did I put that Stratus ingot I got? Because <laughs> I got one from, I think it was the Gold Dungeon gave me one. But I didn't put it in the box, so. Mm, no idea. Also, I don't need all those. I just need one, because my bow is infinity, so. That, I made a bunch more sturdy sheets for God knows why. <laughs> to be completely honest, it's not really... What is with you guys in that stupid table? Seriously, just go around it. Just, you don't need to worry about it. All right, um, yeah, 200 seconds. All right, so this will unlock the Intercrafter, Flux Crafter, and Skulk. Also, another star chicken spawn egg, okay. In the end portal frame quest, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Now we finally unlocked, you know, needing to go to the end. I, I bought the frames a while ago because I had the money. So. 
right uh air smog is a thing so give me that give me one of you because i need some water I did do the biome beam over here. This is actually a uh, oh, warm ocean now. So I need to see how this stuff works, right? Um, we go here. I've got pressure plates in here. Yeah. There we go. So we do. Ba bum. Ba ba bum. I don't know how nasty this stuff is, so... Okay, cool. It's exactly like I wanted it to. Nice and quick, too. I mean... That should be more than enough uh, air smog. Also, what happened today? Oh, yeah. Inebriation. Okay, no, don't stumble into it some more. All right. So yeah, 19 air smog. I need... Okay, this is the only thing I need air smog for. Enchanted pink air clouds. I need 12. How many do I have? One. And it means I have to go get pink air clouds. Okay, that's, that's fine. I you know what this brass can actually go with in here and get processed okay so what else do i need for the the uh the low stone right terracotta okay that's just clay i've got air smog i've got the gravitite i've got that that i've got polished rose quartz uh yeah it's just the air clouds okay all right so i was looking at the quest book i just realized the ethium is a thing um yeah 32 ethium ingots equal three diamond coins. That's actually not terrible. That is a lot of ethium, though, and they come in nugget form, so. All right, you are ready to breed, so give me what I want. Give me another ethium. Hey, look at you. Well, I'm screwed up. There we go. I'm not used to my sword being in slot one. At least not when I'm dealing with chickens. All right, but we have... Our ethium chickens now, which is wonderful. Go ahead and, I guess, drop the brass off over here. Uh, brass sheets do give us gold coins if I really wanted more money, but I don't really need to worry about it. Oh, there's still some eggs in there. I went ahead and picked up my regular chickens because I don't really need them, but... Uh, That can go, and that can go. Are you done yet? No. This, yeah, everything comes to a halt when I leave the dimension, so. With that. Do on that. And let's go back to, well, Scrambled Realities. Air Smog. Let's go ahead and claim that. Chicken guide. We had our ethium. There you are. Uh, the only one that's unlocked right now is the freaking netherite chicken. Uh, yeah. I've been breeding them as I go, so. There we go. Where's that? All right, to exotic breeds, we have everything we need for the Philosopher's Stone. In fact, it is right there. So we have a Philosopher's Stone now. An alchemist best friend. Now, another star chicken spawn egg. Okay. Another star chicken is ghast plus netherite. Dang it. I figured that was the case. That's why I hadn't gotten them yet. All right, that's going to be delayed for a bit. Uh, let's go here. We are going to grab these guys. And I guess we'll grab 12 enderpearls as well. 
I can go ahead and make the eyes vendor. And we got gold coin. We got the gold coin. Okay. So we need to go to the end. I need to get some end stone, kill the dragon, get the egg, and get the ender chicken spawn egg. Which, this is locked behind the transmutation tablet. Bum, bum, bum. Right. So I can make the ender crafter, I guess. That means I need ender pearls. So I need to go to... I need to go to the end anyway. I need to farm up ender pearls. Um, I could go back to the nether and farm them up as well. So yeah, that's the thing. Hey, we can make interdiction torches now. That's kind of handy, I guess. Um, it's only 1,059 recipes. I mean, yeah, I need the ultimate crafting table to make the table. Obsidian, blocks of andesite. We need aerogel. Lodestone, which requires netherite. Yeah. Alright, so I'm trying to get some poison, because I'm going to need poison, eventually. Um, yeah, I can compact it to get liquid poison. But there's some mixing recipes I'm going to need, and one of them was for viridium ore. And that is crystal leaves, which I have a crystal sampling now, so... That helps. Um, Holy Stone's not hard to get, and Lapis, that's, yeah, fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to need Viridium to make Crystal Teen. Okay, we're good? Yeah. Uh, the downside. Apparently, you can only milk these guys every so often. Because um, I got two buckets out of them, and that's it. No, don't shoot me. The reason you're in a box little jerk is why um i'm not sure what the cooldown on them is or what so i have two buckets of poison yay i hope i don't have to go find multiples of the because it's just not being able to farm that stuff is going to be really annoying yeah here's my crystal So what is up with these? Oh, that's how you get the apples. Okay. White apple. Uh, you can join the rest. Yeah, 17 of them now. Uh, yeah, I made a bunch of these. and Yeah. I have like three buckets of poison. So I can make 12 viridium. I don't know how much crystal tea I'm going to need though. Okay. Well, you're an ultimate catalyst, which is... This is the emerald one, which is not bad. So I'm only going to need four ingots of crystal... Oh, no, eight ingots of crystal teen. Okay. Uh, I've got enough poison. I can actually do that if I wanted to. Here, let's go ahead and put this down over here. Right. Nothing else that gets it out of my inventory. Oh, well, that's nice. Seriously. Why, you know, work. I will mess with that later. That. Jump through a lit end portal. Okay. Right. I... Okay. I'll figure it out later. Uh, let's see. Gulk. I need... Okay, I can... Echo shards are from haunting amethyst shards. That's pretty basic, actually. Uh, I got my amethyst over here. Just grab, like, half a stack. Get you haunted. I mean, I can harvest more if I want. So. Forty. 
Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. Hey, look at you. We got Skulk. And then the rest, the other part was slime block, right? Uh, in here. Those guys, let me put my amethyst away for now. There we go. There's our two blocks of Skulk. Need to obtain the Skulk chicken. Okay. So I need Glowing Ink Sack, which is by Haunting Ink Sacks. Okay. Uh, you know, here, let's do that. I need Echo Shard, Skulk. Stone. Yeah, that's that's it, right? And I'm kind of surprised I haven't had a squid. Well, I might have had a squid and not realized it. Uh, spawn over here in my ocean biome. However, I don't have any. Dang, I was hoping I would have a uh, thing, an ink sack in there. Uh, it is something that wandering traders sell. So that's an option as well. Uh, you'll notice that I am missing a farmer now. I was taking care of a wandering trader and uh, he got in the way. So I don't have a farmer villager anymore. No, not the bucket. That. Seriously? I can't do a level one enchant? That's really odd. Okay. Luck of the C2, lure 2. Alright. There's that. No. That goes there. Do that. And that'll start the whole process up. You can see that light there is green on top of the uh, bopper detector, so... All right. So I need an ink sack somehow. Yay. Do villager trades show up? Uh, if I look up, like, pumpkin. Yeah, okay. Let's see, it would be maybe a cartographer. Hmm. Yeah, there's a wandering trader. Where is the the cartographer? It doesn't even show up in here. Okay, that's helpful, I guess. I mean, I mean yeah. Alright, so dead end here, dead end here, dead end here. I need interpearls for that, and then this I need just this is redstone, okay, redstone gold. That is not bad. Um But I need another stars to progress much past that. So Right, so there's two things to do. Go to the end, somehow. And go to the netherite dimension somehow. Uh, two diamond coins per. Need a 360 netherite scrap. So you need four of these per netherite ingot. I need nine ingots per block. And I need ten blocks to make a portal with. So I need 720 diamond coins. So 11 and a half-ish stacks, I think is how it works out. Well, there's that, right? Um, it's just two each. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so just do Hey, we have enough for eight ingots of netherite. Uh, yeah, that's going to take a while. All right, let's see if we can get this done. The annoying thing is this guy came out of a 9 10, 10 but one of his parents was a 10 10, 10 and so it's just like, you jerk. All right. Ethium. Great. Also, oh, cool. True group. I, I got another portal working. So I had to go to creative to break the blocks because you, you can't break these things. Um, so looking at the portal here, you can see these little designs. Like a little V shape here. Those have to be facing in. So the way to, to do it would be to stand, you know, here, let's, let's do this. Right. Oh God. Really? Okay, cool. I can break these. So stand in the middle of where you want your portal to be and place them that way. And then you'll notice that those little shapes all line up in the middle. So, or I guess you could face, you know, out and then place them this way as well. All right. Um, I give me one of those so I can redo this because I don't feel like going to farm up more eyes or uh, interpearls. There we go. And if you have that little V shape in the right spot, then it, it places correctly, which, you know. Makes it work. Your other option is to hop into creative or use a jetpack, jetpack either or. Fly out a decent distance and use the place structure command. And you can actually place a stronghold, which I did. And then I'm like, you know, that just seems kind of cheap. Because um, it gives you like the full stronghold libraries, the whole nine yards. But is that, you know, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to look up on the internet how to fix this thing properly and lo and behold there we go all right so there's that taken care of uh, i went ahead and made a purple squash which you do by just putting the blue squash into poison oh god really oh that's no dang it ah uh do i have any more okay my squash plant hasn't grown yet I, uh, drunk. <laughs> Literally, I have the inebriation debuff. I did, however, get an ink sack. I turned my kelp farm here into a warm ocean biome. The can. And, uh, yeah, squid. So, I did get a, a few ink sacks. This just stop. You know, honestly, I should just grab a bucket of milk and drink it. Uh, let's see. Can you put some stuff away? Cool. Let's just go ahead and void that out. And for you, I need glowstone, actually. Do I not have any glowstone? I have blocks. That's right, because the chickens lay blocks, they don't lay the dust. What am I missing? Oh, okay. I need a blank magic bean. There we go. And now we have a deep dark biome bean. This is a glass block with a Skulk Shrieker, which can also summon Wardens. Yeah, that's going to be fun. I've never actually dealt with a Warden yet. Gives me a gold coin, though. And then here, enter a deep dark biome. And then kill a Warden to release a Skulk Chicken. Sure, why not? How are we doing over here? Oh, yeah, look at you. I can speed things up by uh, 
de or uncrafting my netherite coins too. Yeah, I'm going back to the shop. We'll go here. And we'll buy more, more debris. Well, more scrap. I would actually not mind getting the ancient debris. But yeah, there's not much we can do with it, really. Is there a way to actually make this stuff? Uh, just world gin and treasure. Okay. 56. I need four per... Four per ingot, which is great. The best music disc from Or Portal Forge. And that requires a copy of 11. All right, so I need dirt, which I put over here. That's right. I'm so used to running over there for my, my blocks. Um, I also am going to need some bamboo planks. And let's grab like that. Stacks of dirt. And one thing I'm curious about, which I'm not certain about... Oh, this is a strip bamboo, not planks. Oops. Okay. Do what is a straight box? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I've never done anything with, you know, Skulk or the Warden or any of that. So. Let's see. And we have you. I need two per to get Viridium. Okay. So, and I've got some poison. Boom, boom. Now I could probably drop that off over here. Oh, no, I can't. Uh, well, actually, can I? Nope, I can't. Oh, why? <laughs> I hate the stumbling part. I really do. Okay, so we cannot put this into basins. I have to... Well, I can't use a skyroot bucket. Can I pick this stuff up with metal bucket? I can. Now, are you going to work? Mm. Give it a try. Also, what are you doing over there, dude? All right. Nope. Oh. All right, so yeah. Poison's just annoying. All right, gotcha. Let me go put it back. I don't think I need any more of this, uh, the air smog stuff, but I'll leave it there for now. Just in case. Alright. So, to get poison out of these, you have to run it through a compactor with a basin, and that'll give you this stuff, and then you're gonna have to pipe it where you want it to go. So, I mean, I've got the press of the basin here. But then I have to pipe it into this basin here. It's a nuisance. That's what it is. But, hey, what are you going to do, right? Oh, God. Um, yeah, I should probably pick up my gravitate chickens. Uh, whoops. That's a, a decent amount of gravitate. There you are. I wish there was a... A create based recipe for those guys. Okay, you should be fully grown over here now, right? Yep, yep, alright. So that's another chicken down. Um, I should look them up. Ethium chickens do not crossbreed. Okay. I don't really need Ethium right now, so I'm not too worried about it. All right. So, let's let the fun begin. We are in a deep, dark biome now. So I have to kill a warden. Oh, 
how are you supposed to trigger? That's what I'm curious about. Because the wiki mentioned I have to trigger that thing four times to get the warden to spawn in. So, I thought just regular walking would do it. <laughs> Why are you being difficult? Yeah, it's not doing a thing. I still have an A block of dirt on me. Okay. Um, that'll be fine, I guess. And that destroyed it. All right. Okay. I don't know why, but. I actually have to step on it for it to trigger. Three and one, four. Five. Six. You know, four times is supposed to summon a warden. I mean. I'm not on peaceful. Why is the warden not spawning in? Seriously, what is what is the issue here? Like this little bit here is like a river biome. Which is, for whatever reason, right where this shrieker is, would that be an issue? The biome bean's not quite, I mean... Deep dark, yeah, river. Deep dark. Why, like, it did the same thing over here. There is, yeah, right here is river biome. No idea why. All right. Let me... Can I silk touch these? I don't know. I, I do have a silk touch pick, so... Yeah, I can silk touch it. Okay, cool. All right. This is deep dark. Three, four. Is the warden like a Y level dependent mob? Is that what I'm thinking now? All right, so I was kind of reading up on it. Any of these shriekers that are placed by players can never spawn a warden. So that's a moot point. Um, I hope this doesn't count as being placed by a player. Okay, we got the darkness finally. Okay, I'm getting creepy noises. Good. More creepy noises. All right. There you are. Hi, buddy. Ow. 
That is a non-dodgeable attack, by the way. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go over here now for a bit. And we're gonna heal. You know, I've got these guys too. more than X amount of blocks, it's like 20, 24 blocks, like that, the warden won't do anything to you. So, you can just snipe it. Hey, sweet. I killed the warden, and it did drop a chicken. Wink. And it also dropped a skulk catalyst, which, yeah, okay. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and... Put you down. And I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. I am going to fight another warden. That way I can just get another one of these guys really easily. Uh, but we did get this quest part here done. Uh, next episode, probably going to head to the end, kill the dragon, get the egg, get an ender chicken if I can. Probably not yet. I remember the ender chicken spawn eggs. These guys. Yeah. I need nether stars. Is there any way to... Okay, I can uncraft a star. So I could just fight a bunch of withers, I guess. That's a lot of withers. I need end stone as well for this. So, definitely have to go to the end no matter what. But, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one. And why the hell is there a cow on there? Uh, sign signing out. Have fun. How did you even get up there? Like, there's, there's no way for you to get up there. Weirdo.